What's up everyone? It's Hectic and it's good to see y'all again. We're gonna go ahead and go fishing in Louisiana where I'm actually from and try to go catch us some great largemouth bass. Let's see what we can get ourselves into here. gonna go down to pelican hut I believe I have a marker down there set for some bass here we go this is the spot I'm gonna start off with the jig Oh, I usually, there's my marker. I have a marker right here. Let's see. I'll show you what I've caught. So this marker here was a spotted bass, and this marker here was a largemouth bass. And I have... Okay, no, I only have two here. My apologies. Yeah, the one over here was the largemouth bass. And it is peak time right now, so let's go ahead and get a, a lure in the water. Now you just want to twitch the jig just a little bit. We should get us a bite. I think we're snagged on something. Yep, we were. Try on this side. Here we go. We got us one. Took us a second, but we got us one. Let's see, maybe a spotted bass. Yep, spotted bass. Two pounds. And that was on a bass jig. So, starting off good here. It took us a second, but that's okay. Oh, got another one. Well, this one's a fighter. I don't think this one's a bass. I think this one may be a bowfin. Looks like a bowfin. I'm here. Yep, that's what it is. A three pound bowfin. Not bad though, we'll keep him. And he hit pretty quick, too. I mean, basically hit the water. I twitched like twice, I think. And he just smashed it.
Put on that cast. Let's throw a casting spin out there and see what happens. All-time favorite here. I try to use different things so I see what I catch and I can, you know, let y'all know exactly what works for me and what I'm catching. Ooh, casting spoon got us one. Possibly another bowfin, though. That's not what I'm wanting. I'm wanting bass. But if it's good enough and pays good, I'll, I'll keep it. Pike. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep the pike. Ooh, that's a good bite right there. A little bit of a fighter jumping. Possibly got a bass right here. Get over here. Oh no, it's another bike. Another pike. Look at that. Man. We are catching everything but a bass right now. <laughs> Man, as you can see though, the casting spoon works. I mean, it's been about every cast with the casting spoon now. That's why it's my favorite. You know, you get a wide variety of fish. That Look at that. Pretty much right off the cast. Another one. You get a wide variety of fish with a casting spoon. They just love it for some reason. This one's a bass. This one's going to be a spotted bass right here. Look at that. A nice spotted bass. It's one pound, but it paid 142 bucks, and that was, that's what we're here for, is money and XP. Let's try, uh, let's try behind us again. We caught good right in that last spot just now, so let's try right here again. With the casting spoon, because we didn't throw a casting spoon out here. Oh, I didn't get nothing on that one. This is a good spot. Usually, right at peak hours, you do you do catch a lot. But I mean, temperature and biometrics actually have a factor in this game, and I like that because it it affects their feeding habits and when they're going to strike. There we go. Right almost at the dock here. Oh, crappy! Go ahead and release that. We don't want to keep... Uh, I, that's not what I'm here for. I don't want to take up unnecessary space if I don't have to. But it was right there at the dock, so... And again, that was... Like a third or fourth species... That we've caught on just this casting spoon. There we go, got us a bite. Might be another crappy though. Yep, that's what it is. So we're not getting anything worth worthwhile right there, so we're gonna turn back this way. Into this little cove over here.
Ooh, got us a hit. Possibly a bowfin. It's the way that he's uh going around. With lure in his mouth. What is it? Oh, a freshwater drum. Beast him. He didn't pay that good, so I don't want to keep him. That was neat, though. Caught us a freshwater drum on the cast dispense. So, again, wide variety of species you'll catch in this thing. That's why I love it. Ooh, that's a good strike right there. What are you? Whatever it is, it's strong. Throw some more drag on there. Let's let's bring him in. We were being easy on him. That looks like another pike. That's exactly what it is. A chain pickerel. 220 bucks, we'll keep it. So we didn't get... We didn't get many, uh... Many bass on this trip. We got two bass, mainly just bowfin and pike. But, as you can see, this is pretty good money. I mean... 243 bucks, 220, and, you know, some good XP. Uh, this isn't my ideal place of fishing, but it works if you're wanting to just go somewhere, have a, a change of scenery, make some quick cash and XP, you can come here. This is a great place. Again, this is Pelican Hut right here in Louisiana. And we're at peak time at about 6 a.m. right here in the line here. So right between 5 a.m. is right here at 6 a.m. This is peak time right now. Uh, the bass aren't really biting right now, and it could be because of the weather. Like I said, the biometric pressure does have a lot to do with it. But that's going to be it for this little what I use and what I catch area. I appreciate y'all tuning in and seeing this. And let me know in the comments below where you want me to go, what you want to see, and how how I can help. Once again, my name's Hectic. And see y'all next time.